My name is Violet Piri. I'm from Zambia. Uh, I'm a sickle cell patient. Sickle uh, cell is uh, a disease which is uh, uh, it's a blood disorder. My my blood is not normal like any other person. My 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 red blood cells are sickle shaped. Hence, uh, I have uh, the disease called sickle cell. I was born with it. And uh, it's a very, very painful disease when you're in a crisis. And uh, it brings a lot of complications as you grow. Most uh, sicklers don't grow to a certain age. But uh, uh, I've been lucky. I've been one of the lucky ones uh, who have grown uh, to be at this age which I am at now and um, uh, my experience has been um, uh, I've experienced a lot of complications for example I had the vascular necrosis of the shoulder and a vascular necrosis of uh, uh, my hip uh, I, I first experienced the vascular necrosis of the hip in uh, 2007 that's why I thought the first pain and that pain gradually grew but I thought it was one of those things where the pain would go but uh, with time it uh, grew and grew and grew and then uh, I had to I had to go and see my doctor and then my doctor with uh, x-rays and stuff he said uh, I had developed a vascular necrosis of the hip. Unfortunately, once you get uh, a vascular necrosis, you, you can't treat it. It's irreversible. So the only uh, option I had was to do surgery. And that time I was in pain, like I can't even describe it. Eventually we raised money and then I had uh, surgery in 2009. Uh, in my country at the Italian Orthopedics Hospital in my country which is Zambia. Uh, the operation was a success and uh, I was told it would last uh, me for about 8 to 12 years. Unfortunately in my case uh, the prosthesis loosened up uh, after 3 years. So I went back to the hospital and then uh, I, uh, I was told that they couldn't do a revision because uh, they didn't have the facility. So which was a very, uh, I mean I lost hope at that time because uh, I had no idea that in other countries it can be possible. So anyway, I lived with the pain uh, when uh, uh, my first prosthesis uh, loosened up for another three years I think and I became so lame my walking was very very lame because of the pain uh, eventually I spoke out to the well wishers who really helped me and uh, my sister who's also a sickler uh, she lives in the United States She has a personal doctor, I can't remember his name, but um, but uh, uh, she's uh, the doctor, my sister's doctor is the one who recommended uh, Dr. Chakravati. Because at the time, at the time when we raised some funds, we were looking at uh, a lot of uh, doctors. My doctor had re uh, recommended uh, a doctor from Mumbai. Mumbai? Yeah, I think Mumbai. Mumbai, there were two doctors, one from Mumbai and the other one from uh, New Delhi. And then, uh, then my sister's doctor in the States recommended Dr. Chakravati. So what we did was uh, we asked for a treatment plan for the three doctors. And Dr. Chakravati was number one because the way he, had, he explained the treatment plan made sense. Though it was a little bit higher, the cost was higher, but uh, the treatment plan was perfect. So that's how uh, I got to know about Dr. Chakrabarti and got to know about Manipur and I got to know about Bangalore. 
we had no idea that uh, uh, there was such a place in India called Bangalore or Manipur. But uh, the treatment plan in Mumbai and Delhi, though the, the, it was cheaper, but uh, it was not as, as good as uh, the one here at Manipur. So uh, we came to, to, to India for the treatment and we were picked up at the airport. Uh, the hospital had arranged a transport to be picked up from the airport and then uh, accommodation was arranged for us. Uh, just two minutes walk from uh, uh, the hotel to the hospital and um, uh, that's when we started the treatment. What really impressed me most is when uh, I met Dr. Chakravati and then I, uh, I told him about my health. Uh, the most important thing was I had to see uh, four other doctors just to make sure that uh, every aspect of my uh, every aspect of my body was checked out so for the first time I did ECG <laughs> which was uh, which I was I was scared to do ECG because I thought it was electricity <laughs> and um, and uh, yeah I saw four other doctors before I we could uh, go into the surgery the revision surgery so I did uh, the hip re revision surgery uh, on the 3rd of July and it was a success and uh, the healing was tremendous, quick, quick and uh, after that I did uh, my shoulder surgery also because also my cartilage was wearing out uh, I had a vascular necrosis of the shoulder as well uh, I want to talk about the staff uh, one, uh, when you come to Manipur the first thing you are greeted by people at the entrance who, ask, who, who are going to ask you which department you are going to and then there will be somebody to assist you to take you to wherever you are going. That's very, very, very good. And um, and uh, the staff was amazing, very friendly. We had a good time. Uh, we felt we felt at home. We've been here three months, and it's like we've only been here three weeks. So three months is a long time but uh, time has flown and uh, I'm now okay. Uh, I'm still working with the walker because uh, I did uh, a revision uh, hip replacement so it will take time before I can start working uh, on my two feet but otherwise everything is good. I'm happy and I highly highly recommend Allah plus sickle cell patients to come to Manipur Hospital in Bangalore and uh, uh, get the treatment I've had. It's been 140 percent. <laughs>